Oh, right, Mommy, I made you a Krabby Patty. Ooh, it looks delicious, Jeffy. Thank you. Eat it. Okay. Um, num, num, num. No, actually, put it in your mouth and chew it and swallow it. But, Jeffy, it's Play-Doh. You... Eat it! Okay. Uh, mm. Jeffy, look that way. Mmm, mmm, delicious. Good. I'll make you three more. Ugh. Baby, you don't actually have to eat it. I know, Marvin, but I don't want to hurt his feelings. What's wrong, Jeffy? Nothing. Look, Marvin, the news is on. <gasps> Breaking news, okay? Tom Brady, seven-time Super Bowl champion, is getting divorced by his wife. I have an exclusive interview with him now. Let's go to that. Okay, I'm here with Tom Brady. Wow, you're tall. You want to be one of my defensive linemen? No, Tom, I don't want to be part of your football team. But how are you taking the divorce? What, divorce? I'm getting divorced? Yes, your wife filed for divorce this morning. Oh, that sucks, I guess. Well, do I still get to play football? Yes. Oh, good. That's all I care about. Well, how are your kids taking the divorce? What, kids? I have kids? Yes, Tom, you have three. Oh, well, the only three things I know is I lost three Super Bowls. It makes me sad. Well, do you even remember the names of your three kids? Oh, I'm no good with names. Oh, let's see. One of them's got to be Tom Brady Jr. And then I think one of them's Gronk. And then Patrick sounds familiar. Uh, oh, look, a football. <laughs> football. I like football. Uh, Tom. <laughs> Touch Tom, we're in the middle of an interview here. <laughs> Pass me the football. Tom, come on. Stop. Stop it, Tom. Hey. We're talking about your kids here. Oh, yeah, my kids. Uh, wait, who got custody? It's split between you and your wife, 50-50. Oh, well, as long as I don't have to see him on Mondays, Thursdays, or Sundays, or days when I have practice. Actually, she should probably just hold on to him for a while. Well, now that you're divorced, Tom, how much longer are you going to play football? Well, I don't have a reason to quit now, so I'm just going to keep playing till I'm dead. <laughs> oh, is that a football? <laughs> well, you heard it here first, folks. Tom Brady is distraught after the divorce. Tom Brady's getting a divorce? That's so sad. I guess it goes to show that money can't buy you happiness. You know what money can buy you? A big inflatable pony with light-up nipples. Jeffy. Talking old disco tits. Hey, guys, have you seen my spatula? Right here, scrambling up some eggs. Oh god, now I can't use it! Chef PB, did you hear that Tom Brady got a divorce? What? Tom Brady? Mr. Goat himself? Mr. Ba? Yeah, he got a divorce. Oh, that means it's finally my chance! Your chance for what? My chance to marry him, stupid, and be his number one wide receiver. No, he would marry me instead of you. But Marvin, you're already married. What? To me. Yeah, you're taken. So he's not gonna choose you. Well, no, no, I, I want to be married to Tom Brady instead of you. He's the GOAT. He has seven rings, and I want to be one more ring on his finger. Marvin! Yeah, you ball. He's not gonna choose you, Marvin. He's gonna choose me, because I got a huge caboose, and I can throw it in a circle. Yeah, let, let me throw that ass in a circle. I can throw mine in a circle better. No, uh look at my ass clap. No, he's Marvin, going to stop. Hey, he wants to hear mine clap. Uh-uh. Uh, look at my ass clap. No, mine claps louder like the 70,000 people that clap for his ass in the Super Bowl. No, no it doesn't. Look at oh, mine. No, both of you. Baby, does mine clap? No, Marvin, you look ridiculous. Oh, look, look Tom Brady's going to choose me to be his wife instead of you. No, he's not. He's going to choose me. Watch this. Guys. All right, Junior, you want to see me lift this weight? You can't lift that weight. <laughs> yeah, I can, Junior. I can lift it like 10 times. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm lifting it. Okay. What? You dropped it! No, I didn't drop it. I, I unzipped my pants and my giant wang fell out and hit the table. That's what you heard. No, you dropped the weight. No, it's my monster wang. Junior, Junior, Junior! What? Serious question. How hot am I? Scale of 1 through 10. Well, you're hotter as a guy. Thank you, but I need a rating as a woman. Chef Pee, -Pee why are you dressed like a girl? No, I'm not Chef Pee, -Pee. I'm Serena, the hot Latina goddess with a huge thumpy. Beep! Okay, but why are you really dressed like a girl? Oh, because Tom Brady's single and I gotta go snatch that up before some other hoe does. Hm. Wait, Tom Brady's single? Oh, I gotta get in on this. Well, Cody, you can't date Tom Brady. You're a kid. Hey, I've seen the video, okay? He kisses his son on the mouth and we're about the same age, so I have just as good of a chance as anyone else. But Cody... Mommy, where's Daddy? I don't know, Jeffy. Okay, guys, how do I look? Marvin, what is going on? With you. I shaved off my mustache and put a wig on. Daddy, did you tuck your wiener in your butt? I sure did, Jeffy. Jesus. Marvin, what is happening? Well, did you hear that Tom Brady's going on the show, The Bachelor, and he's going to choose one lucky woman to be his wife? Marvin, I don't know how to tell you this, but you're not hot enough. Sure I am. If looks could kill. It would kill a boner. I'm calling a doctor so he can mentally check you out. And to get your wiener removed. Yeah, baby, I need that to happen. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Yes, doctor, fix my husband. He's broken. My daddy's got his wiener in his butt. Hey there, beautiful. What's your name? Oh, dear God. Well, I haven't chose my woman name yet. Wait, what? That's Marvin, my husband. He's dressed like a woman. Hey, don't judge. That's normal now. Well, I was thinking my name could be Margie. Ew, no. Or Maggie. No, I don't like that either. Or Marissa. Uh, I guess that's kind of hot. Can you just tell me what's wrong with him? 
Well, why are you dressed like a woman? Well, Tom Brady's getting a divorce, and he's going on The Bachelor to find a new wife. Now, wait a minute. You're telling me the GOAT is getting divorced, and he's looking for a new wife? And that could be me? Oh, dear God, not you too! Hey, I always told my wife if I could be with another man, it would be with Tom Brady, and now I finally have my chance. Well, you better back off, because he doesn't want to be with you, he wants to be with me. You really think he's going to be with you instead of me? Yeah! He doesn't want to be with either one of you guys! He wants to be with a supermodel girlfriend! Yeah, well, look how that worked out. She's divorcing him. Yeah, Tom Brady should just lower his standards a little bit. Like, maybe like a middle-aged man in a wig. You know, men know what Tom Brady wants, and that's to play football. I'll see him with the kids, I don't give a shit. I mean, he can just play until he's 80, I don't care. Just never come home. Just keep winning, you know? T telling the goat not to play football is like telling a plane not to fly. Or telling a boat not to swim. Or... Not swim. Boats don't swim. What the hell do boats do? Like, float. Yeah, telling a boat not to float. I want a root beer float. I'm getting distracted. Look, Tom Brady's gonna be mine! No, he's not gonna be yours. He's gonna be mine. He's gonna pick me over you. Okay, well, I'll show you. I'll show all of you! Yeah, we'll see about that. I look hot. You're watching The Bachelor. Hello and welcome to The Bachelor. Today's Bachelor is Buccaneers quarterback Tom Brady. Hi, I'm Tom Brady. I've won seven Super Bowls. He sure has. So now let's meet the eligible Bachelorettes. First up, we have Marissa. Hi, Tom. I love you. Next, we have Brock. Oh my God, is that Tom Brady? Is that the GOAT? Look how close I am to the GOAT. I'm in the same room as the GOAT. Then we have Carly. Hey, Tom, your ass looks real nice in them pants. Our final bachelorette is Serena. Hey, Tom. Ooh, let me deflate them balls, baby. Oh yeah, come on, I'll do it. You're not a cheater, not in my eyes. Okay, Tom, you're gonna go on a date with each of these four women. Well, looky there, there's four of them, just like the four quarters of a football game. Oh, okay. Okay, Tom, I'm gonna need you to focus. You're gonna take all these women on a date, and then you're gonna decide which one of them you want to marry. Okay. Let the dates begin! Ooh, I'm a little nervous. So, uh, tell me about yourself. Oh, me. Uh, well, well uh, Tom, I'm be, I'm be honest with you. I'm a dude. I'm just like a whole ass dude. You see the mustache? But I mean, I'll be honest, I wasn't gonna win this competition anyway. I mean, have you seen the other women? They are smoking hot. No, I didn't stand a chance. But, uh, I mean, while I have you here, I, 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 I've always wanted to meet you. So, like, could you please sign my jersey? Yeah, sure. I, I mean, I know you don't play for them anymore, but it's the only one I got. So I'd really appreciate it if you could just... Just sign that uh, to, to my biggest fan, uh, no, uh, my, 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 my best friend, Brooklyn T. Guy from the MF and GOAT, but like actually write out the words motherfucking GOAT, Tom Brady, and then uh, just write your phone number, because I mean, I, I might not win this competition, but I still want to like hang out and be friends, and I want to show my friends at the bar like, hey, I, I hang out with Tom Brady, we're, we're friends, so if you could just do that for me, that would be great. Thank you so much, Tom. This, this means a lot to me. Hey, don't ever retire, okay? Just keep playing football till you die, all right? Just, just promise me that. Okay, oh man. I, I mean, hey, if you still want to marry me after this, I'll, I'll do it. I mean, no homo, but like, I'll do whatever you want, okay? So just keep that in mind. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, Tom. How do I think the date went? I'd say it went pretty fucking good. Who do you know that has a personalized signed Tom Brady jersey? Yeah, no, I think the date went pretty well. How do I think the date went? Well, I think it went pretty good. You know, Brooke is pretty interesting. She was fangirling a lot. Had me sign a few autographs. She had a mustache. But, you know, I, I think it's pretty nice to have a woman who supports my football career. Haven't had that in a while. Hey, Tom, get in the hot tub. It's nice and warm. I peed in it for you. Yeah, that's right. Hey, Tom, you want to see how long I can hold my breath underwater? Take your pants off. How would I say the date went? Well, I went snorkeling for chode and came up empty, so I'd say that's a thumbs down. Carly's weird. This is a lovely dinner, Serena. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. I made it just for you, your favorite avocado burger. Oh, look at there. There is an avocado. Mm-hmm. I read it in your book, The TB12 Method. Oh my god, look at you on the cover. You sexy bitch, you. Oh, I fondle myself to it every day. <laughs> Thank you. Would you like some confetti with your burger? You know, winners love confetti. I do love confetti, and I've won seven Super Bowls. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> you deserve to celebrate. Ooh, there you go. Oh. You know what, Tom? I want to show you what a real woman can do. Can I show you? Huh? Huh? That's a candle. It, it is a candle. Imagine it as your candle. <laughs> I don't have any candles. My wife took them in the divorce. Damn it, Tom! Love me! Okay, I don't think I'm hungry anymore. Oh, playing hard to get. Who, you sexy bastard? <sighs> How do I think the day went? Oh, he digs me. I made the man dinner, okay? You know what they say, a way to a man's heart is through his stomach. 
I'm going through the penis. Serena came off as a little desperate, but I like that she read my book, and she knows I like avocados, and she's got a fat dumpy. Wait, wait, wait. What did he say about my dumpy? Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. Everybody can get a piece. It's super fat. Everybody wants this dumpy. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, Tom, I thought the best date for us to go on is go to the movies. So I just sit here? Yeah, you just sit there and watch the movie and relax. Well, I don't know what relax means. It means you just sit there and do nothing and watch the movie. But when do I play football? You don't play football. Oh, well, I haven't been to a movie in years. The only movies I've ever seen are The Blind Side, and Remember the Titans, and The Longest Yard, and the remake of The Longest Yard with Adam Sandler, and The Waterboy with Adam Sandler, and Air Bud, but the football one. Well, this movie has nothing to do with football. Oh, it doesn't? But where are you going? <sighs> How do I think the date went? Well, um, I don't think he likes sitting down for too long or relaxing. I think he just wants to play football. Is Marissa a man? Cause she kinda looks like a man in a wig. Well, Tom, you just went on four wonderful dates. So now it's time for you to choose one of these women to give one of your Super Bowl rings to. No, oh, pick me please, Tom, pick me. Brady, please pick me, please. So Tom, who's it gonna be? Uh. Please, Tom! Please pick me! Pick me! Tom! Pick me! Please, Daddy! Please pick me! Uh, uh, I choose football. I love you, football. Let's run away together. Huh. I didn't know that could happen. Sorry, ladies. Better luck next time. Yeah, choosing football. That's the GOAT. Yeah, that's why he's the GOAT. What? You choose football over this dumper? Come on! You're lost, Tom! <laughs> well, I tried. Well, don't I look like a fool? I shaved my mustache for no reason. <sighs> well, how do you feel now that you embarrassed your entire family on national television, Marvin? It was on TV? Yes, Marvin, the whole world saw you dress up like a woman to try to marry Tom Brady. And where did it get you? Back at home with your wife. Why well, didn't tell you no, Danny? Did your wiener come untucked from your butt? I'm sorry, everyone. I guess I just have to realize that I'm stuck with my normal stupid life. Gee, thanks, Marvin. What, what the hell was that? Oh, look, Danny, it came unstuck from the ceiling. Now eat it!